All right, let's talk about the split method. Um, this is going to come in very handy. You're going to use it all the time uh, when it comes to string manipulation and uh, potentially manipulation of other things. Um, you know, in your data cleaning process, uh, you know, text cleaning process, whatever that might be, you're going to find split comes up quite a bit. So let's let's look at the default behavior for split. I'm going to make some string and um, I am a pretty bacon, okay. And let's just um, look what look at what this uh, looks like. So uh, let's do string dot split. And notice I'm not passing anything into split right now. And let's look at its default behavior. It is splitting by default on spaces. So we could explicitly state this like that and we're going to get the same result. I am a pretty bacon. Now, you know, don't be fooled. This is going to, if I put a period after bacon, um, notice it includes that period. So this is only splitting on the spaces. So, you know, just be aware of that uh, in this case. So let's say I put a couple dashes in here. I am dash A, pretty dash bacon. And then instead of splitting on spaces, I split on the dash. So what do we get when I do that? Um, we get I am a pretty bacon. And that's what we would expect, right? Because we're splitting these off like so. Um, we're, sp we're splitting, we're removing the dash, and whatever's on the left of the dash becomes uh, an element in the resulting list everything on the right continues to get processed by split. So um, we can add another parameter here. Maybe we only want to split, um, well, let's say, let's do max split, and let's set that to one. So this is only going to split on the first time it encounters a dash. So let's look at that. I am, and then a pretty dash bacon. Uh, so that's that's pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to use this a lot. Uh, get used to it. It's um, really convenient, and it does a pretty awesome job of splitting where you want it to split.